Leveraging crates in Roost will help you set up your first out-of-the-box automation. In Crash Bandicoot, unpacking a crate means the player gets extra points, Aku Aku masks, or extra lives. Similarly, at Roost, unpacking a crate means you get all of the forms, triggers, and workflows that your automation needs to run smoothly. Our team has built over 120 crates, and they're still building more. This video will help you narrow down which crates to unpack first. Before unpacking these crates, you'll want to make sure you have your integration set up. If you need help with that, you can check out our integrations video and we'll walk you through that step by step. All our prepackaged crates live in the crate marketplace. They're generally created by our rock team, but some have been created from the broader Roost community because goals. But the good news is they're all free for you to use as needed. From the dashboard, use a side menu and navigate to crates and then crate marketplace. In the future, you can use the search bar to find anything specific, but for now, select getting started crates and we'll filter by that tag. These crates are the ones we want to unpack first. You'll notice they all have the getting started tag in the bottom quadrant. I'll demo how to unpack the add client to roost crate. Click on the crate to open it. Under the what's being installed section, there are three collapsed lists, workflows, triggers, and forms. Open each of them to see what's included in this crate. As a habit, you'll always want to review the trigger section before unpacking the crate. If not, you might feel like you You've accidentally unpacked a TNT crate, not good. Although technically any crate from this getting started section is marked safe to install immediately. You'll see any notes or additional information the team wants you to know after you click unpack crate. This is telling us that the Microsoft integration will need to be authorized in the installation settings prior to using this crate. So we'll click continue because we've already done that. You see the crate configuration settings. The most important is to add your time savings here so you have accurate reporting. Now you want to find the enabled toggle under trigger settings and turn that off before unpacking it. Then select unpack. This will show you the new assets that you have at your disposal. Some of our larger crates might take a while and you won't have to wait for the status window to change to unpacked. It'll keep going in the background, but remember, Simply unpacking a crate won't make the automation run. You'll need to turn the trigger on for the work to happen. Once done, open the workflow to review it before enabling your trigger. Check the connected form, update any settings you need to here, and when you're done, press submit to save. Notice the side panel gives you additional information about the crate it came from and all connected workflows. And that's all you need to do to unpack the getting started crates. Once finished, you'll need to set up your organization variables and that's another crate you can unpack. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to us in Discord or join us for Thursday office hours.